So this, as you can see, this is the normal uh, primary system, uh, which is a hydraulic system, and uh, they have given what things you can drive using the uh, hydraulic system. So main thing is your uh, carbo pump that is located inside your tank. Your ballast pumps, ballast pumps are also the hydraulically driven, and uh, you can also uh, along with the cargo pump, submerged ballast pump, you can also uh, means uh, the tank cleaning pump as the well, tank cleaning pump is also hydraulically driven. Also, when the uh, main cargo pump is not working at that time, you at that time that will be an emergency. So at the for the emergency, you will use this portable primo pump, and that will be of the lesser capacity. So that will be lowered inside the tank using the tripod, and uh, then the cargo will be discharged. And on some ships, the your thruster motors are also hydraulically driven, uh, but the thruster was not provided on one ship. Uh, we were all the mooring winches and. Uh, of the hydraulic system and so this is known as power pack and there are two uh, parts of the power pack one is your prime mover and one is your vari variable displacement pump so generally the axial type uh, axial piston type variable displacement pump is used and uh, the prime mover can be uh, your electric motor or diesel engine that will be lsmgo driven and uh, the supply for LSMGO will be from your LSMGO tank, uh, dairy tank, or there will be a separate tank on board your ship. On my ship, there was a separate tank to drive this uh, uh, engines. Diesel engine and the hydraulic motor uh, and the electric motor are the prime movers to drive the pump. And the pump is basically variable uh, displacement pump, and that is of the axial piston type. And, uh, uh, generally, in the uh, positive displacement pump, uh, the your discharge is fixed. So, in this variable displacement pump, the discharge is variable, and you can control the discharge of this pump via uh, the swash plate angle, controlling the swash plate angle. Okay, as per the requirement, how much? If you are using more pumps, or less pumps, more at more RPM or less RPM. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. And the uh, main motive of this uh, pump is to give the main hydraulic power that is required to drive all these pumps. Okay. Yes. And so if this is the heart of the system, then the uh, this control panel is the brain of the system from which you can give the commands to operate the system. And the system will be located in the CCR. And also you can see here, uh, this is an emergency system, which will, be look, uh, which will be located in some room on my ship was in the fire control room so if the controls from the ccr are not working then you can operate the system from here also or you can control the system from locally also that is on the tank dome this uh, stc that is speed torque controller this one will be located on the tank and this is generally used during the cargo stripping time so at the time of stripping this will be used local controls so this is a general overview. Now, yeah, speed torque control is on the pump stack. Yes, sir. All this uh, behind this is the bulkhead, and behind this bulkhead, this is the engine room. So, hydraulic oil tank and the power packs are located inside the engine room, and all the hydraulic system is located on the deck. So, these are uh, the connections on your tank door. So, this is the speed torque controller. This is, and this red line is the um, high pressure line on the deck. This is the main high pressure line and the branches are taken to drive the each pump. And this is the hydraulic oil return line. And, and uh, sometimes the uh, heater will be also provided uh, for heating of the cargo during recirculation. Now, uh, or now when we are going for cold weather and all. Yes, sir. And now, uh, okay. this is the speed torque controller. So this is, uh, this is located on the tank dome. And this will be used to control the uh, pump. Means basically you are controlling the hydraulic motor, hydraulically, the RPM of the hydraulic motor. And the hydraulic motor is also variable displacement and axial pump type. 
and uh, this is the automation signal that is coming from the ccr so whatever uh, signal you are coming that will be the remote signal and this will be your the local control wall and this will be employed when you are stripping the tank stripping and this you can see the red one is the uh, hydraulic high pressure hydraulic line and this yellow one is the return line okay and uh, Okay, this is the in-depth system as I already showed you. So this is the hydraulic oil tank. So from the hydraulic oil tank, there will be a number of feed pumps fitted. Feed pumps or you can also call them jockey pump. They will be located on top of the uh, this hydraulic tank. And they will, and the main function of them is to keep the whole system, whole hydraulic system in positive pressure. So, uh, so always uh, 24 by seven and 365 days, one pump will be running out of these three pumps and uh, this is to ensure that the system is in the positive pressure and uh, from so we will see how the oil generally flows hydraulic oil so then this oil goes to the uh, you know that not any so the main thing is air should not go inside because if the air goes inside then there will be problems regarding the suction of this main uh, variable displacement pump also the hydraulic system will not be operate at efficient at its full efficiency because air is inside and uh, the contaminants may also go inside which will damage the hydraulic oil and contaminate the oil and also if you are keeping the system in the positive pressure then if there is a any leak then you can spot uh, directly that your system is leaking so that's why you generally keep this system in uh, pressure always what so was the last point to for the leaks Yes, sir. So if any leaks are there for the hydraulic line on deck or somewhere, then the pump is running. So from that leak, you can uh, spot that there is some leak. To spot, uh, stop this jockey pump. If yes. or first we will generally we isolate the line, but if you're not isolating that you need to stop the jockey pump. So the oil flow is from the hydraulic tank to this hydraulic oil filter. So from the filter, the oil will go to the oil cooler. So this cooler ensures that your temperature is within the desired range. This should not, the temperature of the hydraulic oil should not go beyond 65 degrees centigrade. 65 degrees centigrade will be the tripping, part, tripping temperature and 60 degree will be the alarming temperature below which the hydraulic oil temperature you have to maintain. And from this hydraulic oil, uh, this hydraulic oil will go to the this variable displacement pump and from there the pressure will pressure of the hydraulic oil will be increased and the increased hydraulic pressure will be supplied will be used to drive this cargo pumps and your ballast pumps and other operations okay and so they have given the hydraulic pressure line generalized pressure is 150 to 200 bar and the return line pressure is approximately 3 bar as it is written here and when the one jockey pump is running at that time also uh, the system will be around 2.5 bar to 3 bar pressure okay and so okay so this is the construction inside the tank so this is the pump and on top of which the hydraulic motor is located uh, and this motor is also actual uh, piston type variable displacement and uh, this is your portable frame pump so if this main pump is not working then at that time you have to lower uh, this portable frame pump and you have to discharge in emergency conditions and uh, there will be number of uh, 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 the, then the, this will be connected with the help of snap couplings uh, to the main line. So there will be uh, the walls given to attach this uh, snap couplings. Now finally we will see the dia see the you have one will be your uh, these are this is the coupling that you get snap couplings and there will be walls provided to attach this snap couplings for the operation of the portable frame pump and you will have one opening on your tank dome and from which a tripod will be placed and one person will be standby who will lower uh, the uh, portable frame pump inside the tank and as the as you are discharging he has to uh, lower the pump more inside the tank for to ensure the positive suction is always there but before putting the pump first of all the pump is very heavy and secondary we have to 
test it from time to time and before using first you should test with water because it's kept for a long time and if it's not working whole work will get wasted so you put it in a 200 liter drum or something and uh, put a hose to discharge hose in the 200 liter drum because it's 150 liter 150 meter cube it will go very fast so uh, first test it and then use it bulkhead and behind this bulkhead there will be the hydraulic room these are the electric motors which are driving uh, the variable displacement pump main hydraulic pump and these two are the engines diesel engines they will use the lsm geo or gasoline to drive the to drive them and these are the for this uh, diesel engines and behind this bulkhead there will be the hydraulic room inside which the your uh, main power pack pumps will be located okay you have both the yeah, electric and lsmg you need both prime movers requirement so some on some ports uh, say if you are carrying the same cargo or uh, you want to drive more pumps then at that time uh, you need to drive more uh, more number of power packs generally only two in number are used uh, only the electric motors we use because uh, we are using the main generators already so we use this uh, electric motors only but in case of emergency if the there is some problem with the motors or uh, they uh, the chief officer demands for one extra power pack then at that time you can use this uh, diesel engine so diesel engine power packs are one uh, alternative for your electricity also and for more power also so this is you have four power packs two are on electric motor prime mover and two are on the lsmgo but uh, capacity is so much that uh, two electric motors generally can suffice for most of like three or four uh, cargo pumps when we are using in the what you call port generally we are using two or three if you need more than three i think you must be using uh, this third power pack yes so that the picture is not clear but this is the control panel for your diesel uh, engine prime mover and so there will there you can see there are uh, टेक्निकल डेटा फॉर सिक्सटीन पंप टू स्लॉप टैंक एंड वन पोर्टल पंप टू बेलास पंप वन टैंक क्लिनिंग पंप सो यू हैव दैपेसिटी ऑफ द पंप फाइव हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड अपू हंड्रेड एंड you have liters per minute so 500 meter cube will use 520 approximately liters per minute so approximately similar to meter cube per hour same 1 meter cube it's it is charging so 1 liter oil it is using approximately you can say for higher capacities and yes. the last pump it is quite low because it's water and uh, bar pressure is a uh, For five hundred, maximum pressure is two twenty-five. So, because your system or your uh, this thing, your electric motors, and are able to generate maximum this pressure only, as we saw hydraulic line pressure. Hydraulic lines are designed for maximum this two hundred bar. And that's also highest because we are never operating on this uh, this much. So, and I think M this M A C. is your rpm so 130 is the maximum rpm but we are not operating on maximum rpm so maybe maximum 120 so we keep a little like 90% so your pressure will be around 210 215 line maximum system pressure around 200 you will keep and uh, in that this much rpm will only go and so as per that your capacity will be little bit reduced like 400 450 like that for cargo main cargo pumps uh, sir that is mlc is actually the unit and that is for the pressure and uh, mlc stands for meter of liquid column and they the framo company is using this mlc unit rather than kg per centimeter square so that is for the head yeah rpm generally we keep around 120 or maximum one yeah, i know it goes up to 200 that is uh, uh, because yeah 
we were keeping up to 180 bar we are controlling with the pressure of the line pressure of the system so basically maybe we don't see the rpm and you have this uh, below uh, design criteria for your electric motor so two hydraulic electric power packs of 800 liter per minute capacity so 1600 liter per minute for 250 bars that is your design capacity of the motors motors also you will have same kind of uh, uh, control panel and there will be only one value and that will be the amperage that you have to monitor at how much ampere one uh, one motor is taking so that uh, was located here but i don't have the exact photograph of that now okay looks like this is the box uh, inside which the pumps are located so this is the variable displacement pump actual piston type which gives the all the hydraulic power that is required to operate and uh, hydraulic room so there are two entrances uh, one from this uh, one from this side and one from the this bulkhead okay so these are the boxes and inside which the box uh, you have the variable displacement type pump located and this is the bulkhead behind which the prime movers are located okay and uh, this is your hydraulic oil cooler behind which will be your uh, hydraulic oil filter and this uh, these are the jockey pumps uh, and this is the hydraulic oil tank for the system and there are two parameters one will be the level of your uh, hydraulic tank that is written in the red and uh, there will be also the temperature sensor which will give you the value of the uh, temperature of the oil that is inside the system and there will be one more pump uh, to take the suction from your uh, storage tank as you can see this sounding pipe this sounding pipe is for the hydraulic oil storage tank a storage tank that was located behind, below this deck and from that tank uh, whenever the oil level inside this hydraulic tank goes below your uh, normal operation level then at that time you take the suction from that pump and you attach one uh, coupling to the system and uh, you fill up the oil to the required level inside this hydraulic tank so that is general layout of the uh, hydraulic room okay so that's it and then we will see some pumps and other things retailers.